Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, folks, like I'm always saying with these Democrats, it's not for lack of trying, it's not for lack of effort. You gotta give it to them, they definitely give it their all. As a collective, they are incredibly persistent, but persistent or not, you could also say they may be completely insane. After all, the definition of insanity is to continue doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And this is a very accurate description when it comes to Democrat voters. Democrat politicians, and Democrat elected officials. It seems as though a lot of these left-wingers have gone completely insane since the Donald Trump era, otherwise known as Trump derangement syndrome. Honestly, these days you might want to call it Trump psychosis, Trump-induced psychosis, whatever you want to call it. These absolute nutcases, as we've been following and as I've been reporting, are still trying to prosecute Donald Trump. Well, today, folks, it seems as though it's finally over, at least in New York City or in New York State, where the New York grand jury investigation investigation has, quote, fizzled out, and New York has now failed to file for criminal charges against Donald Trump and the Trump Organization. Once again, Donald Trump has been totally exonerated. Democrats are essentially looking like this. But one thing we know for sure, one thing we know for certain, the easiest prediction to make, this definitely isn't the end of their anti-Trump hysteria and anti-Trump obsession. Let me update you guys on the failed New York investigation that has led to zero criminal charges, another massive blunder and waste of taxpayer dollars. And then let's just talk about this extremely unhealthy obsession with Donald Trump. Of course, continue to highlight the hypocrisy of it all. But before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible, we are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non subscribed viewers. And with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, take a look at this from the conservative brief. And you know, this is from the conservative brief, so it must be true. New York's attempt to file criminal charges against Trump fails miserably. A grand jury convened in 2021 for a span of six months to hear evidence in the criminal probe of former President Donald Trump and his companies in New York is set to expire this week. Democratic prosecutors formed the grand jury last fall but with no charges having been brought against the former president means the criminal investigation is quote fizzling out according to the washington post the initial charges were brought by former new york county district attorney cyrus r vance jr who thought that trump could be guilty of manipulating the values of his properties in order to gain tax advantages and favorable loan rates the grand jury was convened in november as part of that probe and don't you find that interesting the former new york county district attorney of course who happened to be a democrat no surprise to anybody. Well, he just thought that Trump could be guilty of manipulating the value of his properties. And so based on his thought, based on his hunch, as ridiculous as that sounds within the context of an actual legal investigation, well, they did exactly that. They launched a massive million, multi-million dollar investigation and grand jury investigation into Trump and his organization. How ludicrous is that? Not to mention the base charges make absolutely no sense in the first place, which is of course something that we've covered extensively. But let's continue the article and see what the Washington Post is saying here. The Post adds, a key problem, some of those people said, was Bragg's concern over whether former Trump fixer Michael Cohen should be used as a witness. Bragg has said that he will announce when the investigation is over, noting that even after the special grand jury disbanded, other grand juries hearing a broad range of criminal cases in New York would be available to take action in this one if needed. Still, the expiration of the grand jury and the departure in February of two senior prosecutors who said Bragg was stalling the inquiry makes any potential indictment of Trump seen as unlikely, legal observers have said. By the time Mark Pomerantz and Kerry Dune quit, the grand jury had been inactive for weeks, with jurors being told to stay home, a person with knowledge of the issue previously said. The paper noted further that prosecutors in the office of the New York Attorney General Letitia James, also a Democrat, are skeptical that any criminal case will be brought, people familiar with the situation said, adding that, a spokeswoman for James said the investigation continues. Everything related Related to this case is an absolute sham, and it seems as though they want to make the key witness Michael Cohen, which of course brings in a whole other set of issues, considering the legal pressure that Michael Cohen is personally facing, and how credible he would be perceived as a witness against the Trump organization. I highly doubt that New York prosecutors will be able to pursue that avenue. And outside of Michael Cohen, I mean, there's just literally nothing. And as we're seeing from insiders, the grand jury has been told to stay home for weeks. Essentially, there's absolutely nothing going on here. Nothing. 
nothing but an unmitigated disaster and an endless political witch hunt based on some feeling of perceived guilt. I mean, just take a look at some of these quotes. We will use every area of the law to investigate President Trump and his business transactions, and that of his family as well, Atisha James told NBC News in December 2018. I mean, what kind of quote is that? Based on no evidence of wrongdoing whatsoever, we will use every area of the law to investigate President Trump. Why? Because he has an R next to his name and you have a D? Take a look at this one. We want to investigate anyone in his orbit who has, in fact, violated the law, said James, who was endorsed by then New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Like I keep saying, folks, it's nothing but political harassment. Harassment of Donald Trump, his organization, his family, and his friends, and of course his associates. Literally anybody related to Donald Trump, as Letitia James put it, anyone in his orbit, is an investigation target in the state of New York. For no other reason other than being within the orbit of Donald Trump. Essentially, no reason at all. Or at least no good reason is probably a better way to put it. It's nothing but a partisan obsession. Trump derangement syndrome, Trump psychosis, whatever you want to call it. Get Donald Trump at all costs because that is what the puppet masters of the DNC, the Washington Democrat establishment, want. Stop Donald Trump at all costs. And speaking of this ridiculous obsession and the Democrat puppet masters, Washington Democrat swamp creatures, this is the kind of obsession that I'm talking about. Hillary Clinton takes swipe at Donald Trump, goes on woke feminist rant at Madeleine Albright's funeral. Even during a funeral, during a time where you were supposed to be showing respect and celebrating the legacy and the life of an individual who has passed, Hillary Clinton cannot stop herself but to go on an anti-Trump tirade during Madeleine Albright's funeral. If that's not an unhealthy anti-Trump hysteria obsession, then I don't know what is. We are here to celebrate and pay our respects to the incredible legacy and life of Madeleine Albright. Also, Trump is a literal fascist, re-our democracy, re-Capitol Hill riot, Donald Trump Makuma insurrection. I mean, come on. These people are crazy. I mean, it's actual craziness. Stop at nothing until Donald Trump and anyone around him, and even his supporters, have been utterly destroyed. I mean, the lack of self-awareness, these people don't see how insane they look. The New York District Attorney, Letitia James, who's supposed to be an arbiter of the law, somebody using taxpayer dollars from Democrats, Republicans, and independents alike, who's tasked with being essentially a neutral head prosecutor, gets elected on this idea of going after Donald Trump and, quote, anyone in his orbit. How is that not perceived as absolutely insane? How is that perceived as ethical? How is that even allowed to continue or to exist in the first place? It makes absolutely no sense. And these Democrats, these vile, vengeful, anti-Trump figures, continue to expose themselves and hopefully, after yet again another legal failure from these Democrat actors. And hopefully in the end, this whole thing backfires like everything else has been and leads to the incredible Trump comeback, the Trump resurgence, that frankly, Democrats are paving the way for. Honestly, it seems as though that's exactly what's happening. The more they go after him and the more they fail, the better Trump looks and the more people look onto Trump sympathetically. And in the end, I think that's going to be their undoing. But that's also what I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share it as much as possible. I'm going to get back to work. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.